Hello and welcome back to Brief Edge. I have a couple of things to show you. First things first, we have Duster, we have Brad, we have a new spacesuit. I don't remember if I made accelerator last time and we have uh, explosives, so... Um, okay. And I also took all our stuff in here. Uh, there's nothing more for us to... Um, I would like to have this military cylinder. We cannot research anything more right now, so let's go on an adventure. We're gonna go to the bio module first. Then we'll go to the mayo ball, and we'll try the military. To, we'll try to bribe the robot at the military module. I have no idea if it has any chance to work, but we'll try. Mm. And I think that's it. What do I have planned in my mind for, for this, for today? We might try getting into uh, Nomad? Norma Normandy. Into Normandy. Um, I think that's it. Why is radiation getting so high? We've been here already. Was it so high? Huh. Anyway, we can. Oh, we have blaster, so now we can go pew pew. Literally, what? The blaster it says. Ooh. Alright, the window. Four. Can I scan it from the side? Yes. Thank you. And we are supposed to get from the other side, so. Yeah. I don't care. They won't shoot here. I hope. Blown up mechanism. Come on. Really? You must unlock the doors. They're not unlocked. Blown up mechanism. But this maybe? I need to do it on both sides. God damn it. Okay. Um Oops. Why? What's going on today? What's with this speed? I understand that we Stop preparing it. Um Let's say because I'm not sure if I want to go over there just yet. And while I was researching stuff, I, I actually received a couple of messages from Babe. Yeah, I'm very sure we can get in there. The radiation is gonna kill us, probably. Yep, radiation. Nope. I'm not getting there. Just yet. But we should be fine with the oldest electricity here. I hope. Okay, I'm not sure where this oxygen station is. It's hard to read all of that when it's so clustered. It 
It's an extremely unsafe place. I can't even use my main systems, only the built-in processor, which is perfectly protected from power surges, but is not able to count to 10 without errors. Hmm. The door is locked. Really? Okay. Then how do you expect me to get inside? Probably this way. This is an energy core of the Breath Edge Company. I don't know who transported such technologies on the liner and for what purpose it was done, but now it's easy to explain the presence of electromagnetic anomalies. By the way, I don't recommend turning off the active oh. core. It will most likely lead to unpleasant consequences. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of old space stations that were used about 50 years ago for communication between planets. Besides, some components were produced at the Breath Edge Agency factories for sure. No, I think we can use this to watch. What's happening in here? This, these are closed. Ooh. I have no idea how they got into the closed system of the aquarium, but there are no more fish here. Okay, I need lots of refined metal. Water is also nice. If I were to design a trash can, everything would have fit in it. Oh, the empty. What's the reason for this? Oh. These rooms look like someone's shelter, but it has had no occupants for a long time. So I'm gonna take all the stuff I can. Wait, give me a moment. One of the first prototypes of the Breath Edge Agency spacesuit without any artificial intelligence. Mm. The cause of death was a blunt injury to the head about 30 years ago. The body mummified due to the sterility of the environment. Plenty of frozen. Now this is something interesting. It's worth taking a closer look. Give me a moment. Prefetch, experimental innovative technologies of the Prefetch Global Funeral Agency for 2043. Device for eliminating facial nerve ending mutation. Leading engineers at the Brief Edge Global Funeral Agency have long been searching for a solution to one of the kind most important problems of to one of the kind most important problems of mankind. What if a visitor of a, to a space funeral starts experiencing intolerable itching in the face at the most important moment of the ceremony? The answer was not as simple as it may seem at first glance, but with the joint efforts of our specialists it was finally found. The device is equipped with a revolutionary high-tech synthetic fluff brush. The fluff is shaved from the navels of synthetic squirrels and is 99.9% .9 identical to natural fur. The innovative telescopic holder lets the brush move across the entire face and rotate 360 degrees. ISR1 protection increase, radar 53 trip. To activate and adv the advanced protection protocol, follow the instructions below. Press the escape to exit to the menu. Left uh, click on settings, left click on game, find lower radiation, uh, left click on the arrow to change the word disable to enable and then apply the selected... Really? <laughs> Wait. Uh, 
Leave. There are some undeclared functions of several Breath Edge agency inventions here. Please note section ISR-1 protection increase RAD R-53 chip. It's about the first spacesuit prototypes. I have the same chip installed in me. Try to follow these steps. Press escape, go to settings, go to game, lower radiation. Enable. Protection increase protocol activated. The threshold of radiation resistance has increased. So you're saying we could have done this from the start? Really? <laughs> No, we uh, I don't believe you. There's no such design in my catalogs. A unique photo of the two founders of the Prefetch uh, Global Funeral Agency. The newspapers mostly mention only the head of the agency. However, what always lay at the core of the Prefetch was his crazy ideas combined with the fundamental works of the project engineer who embodied space funerals into a technically complex reality. I have to tell you that I am, am already lost. Okay. We can assume that this station was some experiment of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, but the lack of any information about it, as well as the dead crew member, can lead us to think that this was probably illegal. On behalf of the Funeral Agency, I apologize for your possible complicity in the illegal activities of our company. At least he's apologized. Do I need to, uh, to find a way to neutralize the cores? Somehow. Closed. Come on, don't get stuck, don't shoot there. You know what? I will save just in case I get stuck here somewhere. Actually, even my chicken cannot neutralize it. So there's that dealt with. Wait, there's something I can scan in here? I'm sorry, it's just so confusing sometimes. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Um trash can and something over there. Oh, I was wondering if that can be scanned, but didn't really look any usefully in any way it would look destroyed if anything okay so now that's dealt with um I wanna go to the closest one. It's hard to tell which one is the closest. Maybe this yellow one. Although the radiation is still growing. Oh, that's the mail place. And what do we have here? That almost got crashed. Oh, electronics. Remember, we need those for better uh, oxygen. What? 
to to high up thank you nope just food and water mm, let's go and recharge some oxygen first I think we are close enough to do it yep and there's something we can scan Blast that mayo ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such should also be one more. I hope we won't need that. Small modern engines can do without burning fuel, which is much safer. Okay. There's another one here. Four out of six, so. Okay, let's get through that. <sighs> there must be some control systems inside. If the airlock isn't damaged, then we need to find it. Get into the tank, start the engine, somehow leave before it starts, and hope that when flying away, the tank will have collected at least some part of the flowing spilled mayo. Hmm. God damn it. That doesn't look like a door. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Where? Oh, there's one engine. Okay, let's go recharge. We'll have to find one more. Are those orange from okay? So some more fine metal. Oh, but give me those. No. They don't want the orange ones. Oh, we haven't been there. Okay. But that's kind of one I saw floating around. Last one should be on the other side. Should be. Will it be? I have no idea. Okay. 
really appreciate if I didn't have to go into another pool of mayo. Okay, let's try it. It's just so creepy. Oh. It would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scanning, which is usually used by biologists and treasure hunters. Nothing of interest. The heck? Nothing of interest. No, I don't think there's anything in here. So why can I? Nothing of interest. Oh, you mean there's nothing in there? Wait. Solids detected. Ooh. Now that's a really useful function. But uh, I've been here, I didn't see anything. An airlock seems to be intact. Seems like the gas coming into the Mayo doesn't let it freeze. Oh! I have a feeling that something is wrong with this mayonnaise. Apart from the inconsistency of its composition, overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris. Although, all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise ones in all the invoices related to the liner. The game froze. Okay. Oh, okay. It's saved, so... That's so cool! Actually, no. How this analyzer works. This vacuum cleaner is called Rocket for a reason. With it having such a powerful engine, it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations. Cool, I don't have to research it. Oh, hi. Unbelievable. This is heaven knows what, but it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. Okay. I mean, they were. They were, looks like they were working close to it. Um, but I would like to save here in case it's a boss fight. All data indicate that the mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. Engine damage detected. Like we need to go outside and check the tank engines. Sure. A special patch and a bloated spacesuit indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating. All this points out that the body belongs to the Green Universe Radical Group. If the possible moral constraints are no problem, this bag of methane, hydrogen, and organic residues can be used to provide initial acceleration to the centrifuge. You only need to figure out how to do it. Igniter required. Yeah, we don't have it. Okay. But I assume it has something to do with frozen. Wait, let's fly around it. Okay, there's definitely nothing. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. A detailed plan of the transport module. Where? Oh, this one. Mm, let's see, will it give me some... Medium transport module uh, with eight replaceable blocks of wool. It can be used for shuttle locking and collecting free identical vacuum cleaners. The perfect choice for people with extra resources. Hmm. Okay, I like you ready.
Let's go out this way because I remember there's been another ball of mail. Oh, I cannot even turn on my flashlight. Oh. Yeah, this one. Oh, this one. Is this one? Okay, sorry. <laughs> um. Oh well. Nothing of interest. Okay, great. Someone clearly does not like standard space food. Even the liner's kitchen didn't have such equipment. Hmm. A kitchen. Really? Okay. And some fine metal. What's that? Box with food. Stop stealing my sandwiches. The art of eating. This leads outside. No, it leads nowhere. It's closed. And this is also closed. I believe it leads straight into the mayonnaise, yep. A solid mayonnaise, okay. Let's go back to recharge. And I think I'm gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!